Our aims and objectives from today's lesson is to practice the leg yield because I find that's something that we really struggle with during our tests. I would also like to improve the straightness, especially on the right rein and canter, I feel like the quarters come in. And I'd also like some exercises for me to polish up my position to help calm along the way. The big thing with the leg yielding and the big thing with the straightness on the right canter is that she needed to be really aware of where his head was in relation to his chest. So we did an exercise at the beginning of the session on a circle in trot, just positioning the horse's head over its inside knee on the circle with obviously a tiny bit of inside flexion and then moving it to be positioned over the outside knee and then eventually bringing it so that it was positioned in between the horse's knees, just really to give her an idea about where being straight was so that when we then came to the leg yielding, he was actually bending a bit too much in his neck and falling through the shoulder and it was making it difficult for her to control where the leg yield was ending up. And then in the right canter, what the horse does is he brings his quarters into the inside and goes up a little bit like a crab up the long side. So what we worked on was getting him to be in a bit more of a shoulder four position with a very straight neck so that she really had control of where the quarters were going. He found it a lot easier to the left. The lesson was absolutely fantastic. We've got some really good exercises, particularly shoulder four in the canter on the right rein. Really got to get that every time on the long side, which will help with your straightness. Also got lots of exercises on a circle, particularly bringing the nose to the right, to the centre and to the left, which will also help with the straightness. And me as well, my position. So in that leg yield, I've got a good exercise to keep my right leg in the correct place rather than just swinging it round and it being useless. <laughs> I train quite a few people with ex-race horses, one of which is an owner of mine, Jen Goodman, who owns Supernova, and she actually has a New Zealand thoroughbred that raced when he was younger and then had a career in eventing and now has started a career in dressage. And actually, he's been an amazing horse for her to ride and learn on, and he's taken to it like a duck to water. I think the suitability for going on and having another career. I don't think actually it's anything to do with the horses or all the breeding. I think it's more to do with probably the people that have taken the time to rehome them and give them a, a second chance in life. And I think that's probably key to the success of the whole scheme.